right, so we've already set up the assets for dropzone.js. Now we need to do some JavaScript to initialize them. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that we can upload an avatar for uh, users. Later, we'll take the same concept and turn it into an image gallery. But I figured we'd start with an easier example so we can learn how to implement the drop zone. So we're going to want to go to your views folder, open up users.php. And then up at the top here, just give yourself some space. And we need to put in some script tags. And the first thing we need to do is put in our on document ready. And then run a function inside of that. And then now we're ready to initialize the uh, plugin. So this first property we're going to put in here has to do with uh, turning off auto discover. Auto discover will automatically look for a form and apply the drop zone.js, but we want to actually pinpoint a specific one. So to do that, we need to do drop zone dot auto discover equals false. Now we're actually ready to initialize this. So what we're going to be putting in here is a form that will end up looking like this. It will just have this drop images to upload image here in a nice div. And we'll just put it down here at the bottom of the form for now. So let's go ahead and create that first before we initialize. So we want to make sure we start this after after the uh, user's form. So make sure that it comes after the uh, closing tag of that form. So we start with a form tag, give yourself some space, and we need to give it an action. And in this case, we're just going to go ahead and make it uh, equal to a pound sign so it goes nowhere. Now we're going to need to give it a class, and this is the class that's going to give it the look and feel that we saw on the uh, dropzone.js page. So we just give it a class of dropzone. Now we need to give an ID, and this is very important because this is what we're going to use when initializing the plugin. And uh, this is the reasoning behind turning the auto discover off is so we can say that this particular form is going to be a drop zone. And we'll just go ahead and call this avatar dash drop zone. Now there's one more piece of this we need to put in an input tag. Give it a type of file. And the name attribute is just going to be file. And now we are ready to go back up to our JavaScript and initialize this. And by initialize, I'm, I, I mean we're going to be telling drop zone to load and to load and attach itself to this particular form with this ID. And to do that, we're going to save this new drop zone object into a variable. We're going to call it my drop zone in camel case equals new drop zone. And then uh, in the parentheses, we're going to put in the selectors. So that's going to be hashtag avatar dash drop zone. So now that's set up. And we seem to be missing our image. And I had figured out earlier that something happened with the download of the image. So I'm going to go in and just take the image straight from the dropzone.js page. So if at this point you're having the same problem, come over here to drop zone, right click on the image here, do inspect element, and then we're going to click on this, open it up, and then do save image as. And just get a fresh copy of this. Now I'm going to change the file name to make sure I don't overwrite, or I want it to overwrite the uh, the old one, the damaged one. So again, if you if your image actually showed up, don't worry about it. But for some reason, mine did not work. The download failed. So there you go. Now that's all set up and ready to go. And here's an example of me dragging and dropping a file in here. So that's pretty cool. Now it's not totally functioning the way we want it to yet, and obviously there's some style issue here with the thumbnail.